Good morning. Today we are going to discuss engineering properties of soil. There are various engineering properties are related to soil. So we can list down those. Those are physical properties, index properties, strength parameters, permeability characteristics, consolidation properties, modulus parameter and finally dynamic behavior. Among this, we have to study the three most important engineering properties. Those are permeability, compressibility and shear strength. So, first we can look what is meant by permeability. Permeability, it is the property of soil which permit the flow of water through interconnecting voids. So, we have already studied the three phase system of soil. That is, our soil mass is consist of soil particles and voids. These voids may be occupied with air or water. So, interconnecting voids lude, well te kadatthi vidaanilla, permit chayaanilla, soil in the property e parayna veyraan permeability. Based on permeability, we are having two types of soils. Those are permeable soils and impermeable soils. Soil with continuous voids are known as permeable soil. So, an example for permeable soil is gravel. And the soil without continuous voids is known as impermeable soil. An example for impermeable soil is stiff clay. Clay. Namada kalimata ana impermeable soil nila example. Adu pole tene gravel, cherale endu parayu. Adu ana permeable aitala soil nila example. So what is the significance of permeability? Or what is the importance of permeability? Enda ana permeability uday importance. Endi ni endi ana namada permeability padi kundade. It is required for seepage analysis, drainage assessment. Ground water problems and also used for rate of settlement of structures. Second important engineering property is compressibility. What is meant by compressibility? Do you have an idea about it? Compressibility and that you think are you? It is a good idea you know. The decreasing volume of soil mass under stress is known as compression. Number of stress to Kodukumbo, Alangil Uri force to Kodukumbo, soil mass in the volume decrease chain, our property parana perana compression. So, compressibility is the property of soil mass pertaining to its susceptibility to decrease its volume under pressure or stress is known as compressibility. Stress, Alangil Uri pressure apply chain in the Palamite. Soil mass in the volume decrease chain, our property parana perana compressibility. Based on compressibility, we are having two types of soils. Those are compressible soil and incompressible soil. So clay is an example for compressible soil and gravel and silt are the example for incompressible soil. Compressibility may be of two types. Those are compaction and consolidation. Compaction is due to the expansion of air occurs and consolidation is due to expansion of water occurs. So we can distinguish between compaction and consolidation. What are the difference between compaction and consolidation? Compaction is occurred due to the expansion of air from voids. Whereas consolidation is occurred due to the expansion of water from voids. In case of convection, we are applying dynamic loading that is rolling, tamping or vibrating. That is why it is a quick process and the loading is short term. Whereas in case of consolidation, we are applying static or sustained loading. That is why consolidation is a slow process and long term loading is required. Compaction is mainly used for sandy soils where consolidation is mainly used for clayly type soils. Through compaction, we can produce high unit weight of soil 
and thereby increasing the soil properties. अपने इंद्रा ये कुन consolidation के केस है. अतिने में डीटे नम्बर जो structure मानसिल के लिए दगा. इस structure के तारे ला soil है. बुखारे लो ला इस structure इंदे बेटे कारण हम compact के शेयर पड़े दो. अल्ले. अतुकोन तारे नम्बर जो consolidation के केस ले static कांडे sustained loading आण वेरिंदा दंड पारेंगे दो. Okay. Our third important engineering property is shear strength. It is the internal resistance per unit area that the soil can handle before failure. Failure ni mumbe soil ne handle cheyan kariyena our load. Ati ne parayna meyaran shear strength. It is the internal resistance per unit area. Unit area il act cheyna internal resistance aan shear strength. So failure may be in the form of sinking of a footing. Or movement of a wedge of soil behind a retaining wall, forcing it to move out, or slide in the earth embankment. Periodic area of the ant's other net failure is somewhere in the. So shear strength is expressed as in terms of stress. Stress in the term will are our shear strength expressed in the. Two components of shear strength are cohesive element and frictional element. Cohesive element is friction, and frictional element is angle of friction, which we will study in some other classes in detail. Okay, thank you.